all these bands you keep telling everybody how great they are and then <laughs> and, and and you keep complaining that they don't have any exposure and i'm like <laughs> and he really just stuck me and i'm like yeah well i guess that would solve the exposure thing. Yeah. <laughs> and i already have all the songs and i I know them all, so I know what to say. I'm like, all right, I'll give it a shot. And I just started doing it, and I had a lot of fun. And it's basically, it ends up, it ends up being just kind of like I don't, I don't plan anything. I just kind of go in. I always know what first song I want to play, right? And I'll know like what you know, bands of mine, friends of mine that are doing shows, and I'll play those songs. But then I just kind of just go like you would listen to your iPod, like just yeah, I feel like hearing that right now, and I'll just put it on. And if it's somebody I know, great, I'll tell a little story about them and whatever show we played. Or, Sometimes it's just a national because I feel like here on like Coheed and Cambria or you know like Rise Against or whatever. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just it was just so much fun and it, it was ended it ended up being like two hours in the middle of the day where it was just music I was listening to anyway. And then I just have such a good time because you know people chime in like on chat rooms and stuff like that. Right. Sort of you know BS and stuff like that. And I was like, well, I could do this. <laughs> <laughs> And so now I've, I've done it for over a year, and you just it's it's a fun show, and you know I understand now why guys like you do this because it's it's like oh man I can't wait to get to my show and you know play this song for these people and you know I found this band from New Zealand you know and you just know nobody in New York has ever heard of them so it's like oh, I'm gonna play this song first and you get like a little rush out of it. It's, well, that's right. It's kind you, of a cool you, thing. you play stuff you want to hear, so it's not a, a consistent program where you can hear the song like every two three hours. No, it's constantly changing up, and I constantly try to mix and match and. Kind of pull stuff I haven't listened to in a while, and right. you know it just. But that's what makes it so fun, and you know it's it's hard working itself trying to get the players organized because like you know it's it's fun, but you want to make sure they flow properly because a lot of times you got such an eclectic mix of music. I kind of I got to almost put them in groups so they'll right. fit properly and the flow will go uh, well as opposed to kind of kind of high to low sort of thing. Yeah, I haven't mastered that part at all. It's <laughs> not easy, man. Trust me, it's not easy. It took me a while to get that under my belt. Yeah, I just go. I'm just, but like I'll just talk in between, and it's funny too, because like every like, because what I'll do is I'll I'll tell stories from like you know the weekend shows. Like we just had this disastrous show a couple weekends ago, and it's real taboo for bands, you know, because if you ask a band how was the show, the band the company line is oh it was awesome. There's 10 million people, and we got paid five million dollars, and you know everybody loved this, and we turned down record deals. It was so good, you know, yeah. and that's what you're supposed to do as a band, but I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> You know, because everybody listens to my show are musicians that know what really happened. You know, like, right, exactly. You know, and people that were at the show anyway. So I was just telling this this story, this this horrible, horrible show that we've gone through. <laughs> you know, and it's like, and that was my segue into like some other song. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fantastic, man. That's really cool. I do love doing it. Yeah, and that's the thing. Is like you know, it's essentially freedom of, freedom of speech, right? But you no, know, it's on yeah. a whole different level, and you're not censored, not necessarily worrying about the FCC and stuff, right? So right, you know. And I figure as, lo as long as people are listening, then it's worth doing. And you know, my numbers keep growing, and that's fantastic. And that's really all I can kind of hope for. But like you know, as being in a band, like I just I feel like I, I keep casting you know different nets into different pools because I'm never actually sure like what's gonna what's gonna break. Like I was I was talking. I was talking to my friend Jim, who, who's a singer for a band out here called Craving Strange, and they're a really, really, really good band. But we were talking, and we decided that it's actually easier to become a child like television star on Disney and then be a rock star than it is to go directly to rock star. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and, and at that point, we were like, well, it's probably easier for us to build the time machine yeah. and go back. Oh, it's a flux capacitor. Well, I mean, it just seems like it's a quicker thing. It's like... People are being promoted, like promoted to Rockstar because they have fame and they can sell tickets. They can put asses in seats and they can sell records. And that's not the definition of actually what a rock, you know, musician is supposed to be. So, like our entire job description doesn't really exist anymore. Like what we're trying. I mean, yeah, it, it exists for us. Like we'll write for people like Miley Cyrus and you know and stuff like that. <laughs> you know, and that's I guess not something that we can't do because we can. It's just not what we want to do, but the actual path to going directly to rock per, uh, performer doesn't seem to exist. You have to go get the fame first. So I feel like, well, cool, maybe I'll become like a famous guy on the radio or I write columns for magazines. Like maybe that'll make me famous or, you know, or famous enough. Like I don't even want to be famous. I want to be famous enough to do this job that I want to do. Like, right. I want to, I want to write and record and produce music. Like that's what I want to do. And like if I have to be famous first to do that, then damn it, I guess I'll try and be famous. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a ridiculous statement. I mean, I can't believe those words left my mouth, but that's an honest-to-God tact that people have to consider in, in, if they want to be in a band. Like, all right, got to get famous first, and then, then I can be in a band. I know, and you're, you're, so, you're so right with everything going on these days. 
Unfortunately, um, uh, we're pretty much out of time, but we will do a part two this continuous in October when the new single comes out. But awesome. Honestly, honestly, man, thank you so, so much for coming on. I wish we had more time, but we will next time. This was uh, such a good time like, and such a good story, so I'm looking very forward to the next time. Thank you so much, but thank you for everything you do for us. Thank you for having me tonight. Just you keep on rocking. If you need anything from us, you let me know. Absolutely, man. Well, you have a good night, and thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Thanks, man. We'll talk to you again in about a month, buddy. Later. All right, later. All right, that was DJ Perlman from Revel 9, and a uh, very good storyteller, a lot of good stories to tell, and it's too bad we didn't have more time. That was a lot of fun, so we will be back with them in October, get it set up, and talk about their uh, new single, which will be out then. Uh, we'll find out what it is then. We'll get a part two and get some more uh, some more good stories and some more questions answered. Until then, guys, which will be tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern and 8 p.m. UK, uh, second episode of the Bones and Bee Banter Hour. Then on Friday, we have... Bloggers Corner at 1.30 p.m. Eastern, followed that by that at 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern, 8 p.m. UK. We'll be talking to Analog Wave out of, uh, Analog Wave out of Ireland. Their brand new, pretty much debut, uh, debut release of their second album, Cashmere, which is, like, you know how, what I feel about that album, so we'll be talking to them uh, Friday. And then another new episode of Music Saturday, which, by the way, now is the time to get the submissions in. You can tweet or DM me for info. And... Uh, uh, be joining me as uh, they have a permanent spot now with Nolan and Catherine from the Mad Andersons. So until then, guys, I uh, will talk to you very soon. Bones out.